The painting that we chose was The Last of the Buffalo. This painting was created by Albert Bierstadt in 1888. He painted the West that America wanted to see and imagine, but he also wanted to try to bring a social awareness to the depletion of the buffalo herds. When we first look at this painting, what first comes to our mind is that it's a western landscape. We see the lake, the rivers, the clouds, the trees, and the mountain in the background. In the foreground, there's an Indian killing a buffalo. We see some dead buffaloes laying on the ground. We also see other animals in the foreground, such as antelopes, fox, rabbits, prairie dogs, birds, and some dead buffalo skulls. Uh, this painting was um, made by oil on canvas in 1888. It's pretty smooth and shiny. We actually touched it to get a feel of it. The quality of the surface is really nice. It's very clear. We see some light in the foreground, which is like the, the horse is actually the only white animal we see there. We also see some dark colors where the buffalo are laying down in the trees. In the painting background, great herds for buffalo fill the landscape. In the middle ground, we see a single buffalo standing in the pathway of the shore, and the buffalo was locked in the battle with the Indian on the horseback. And in the foreground of the painting, that's where we see all the lean dead buffalo. The composition is pretty symmetrical because it's balanced. It has an overall equality of size. Because when we divide the painting, uh, we can have equal part. Um, this uh, is the color is pretty vivid. You can actually see everything. It has a great texture, which makes it a really good landscape. Burstad gave Easterners exactly the image they wanted of the grand and bountiful West, and he used visual spectacle when he displayed this painting to farther the majestic landscape and reactions he drew from it. He used an overwhelming amount of detail and imagery in The Last of the Buffalo, large amounts of color, almost too much detail, to the point that the depiction of the plains was unrealistic, just directly compared to the romantic ideals of painting and the painting that we compared The Last of the Buffalo to was The Wrath of the Medusa because of their similarity to invoke lots of emotion when the paintings are viewed. Burstadt had a near perfect combination of technical expertise and European experience and national enthusiasm that allowed him to take this western landscape and turn it into an iconic image that drew interest from Easterners to move out west. When, uh, when you come to the side of this painting, it's actually pretty big. Um, it makes you feel like you can place yourself in the painting and actually view everything clearly. Even though we see some foreshadowing, you can still pretty much see everything. Um, the size helps explain in much more de detail what is going on in the landscape. Um, the subject matter, the subject is real, but the style is more romanticized in landscape. It's not a realistic depiction because in real life you don't see that much dead buffalo just laying around in one scene without anyone actually doing anything, which is pretty uh, similar to the buffalo that they do that because of the exaggeration, the foreshadowing that we see in there. Um, the subject matter is that the buffalo were beginning to be threatened by extinction from a sexy hunting. At that point of, at that point in time, um, that was the only way for Indians to survive because they didn't have any much more around. Uh, so they would kill those buffalo, and it was a way for Albert to bring attention to what was going on to the American. The landscape tells a narrative as it weaves its way from back to front. The buffalo are seen alive and well on the plains in the background of the painting. But as the foreground is reached, the context of the crisis is revealed. The dying buffalo being killed by the Indian, along with the skulls, displays the message of the dying and decaying buffalo. Bierstadt displays this message front and center in the foreground of the painting, helping to drive the, home the part of social movement and emotion, to save the buffalo and help stop the problem of the buffalo being hunted to extinction. The buffalo themselves belong to the wild and the native peoples that hunt them for their very survival, not on some mantelpiece as a trophy of some hunt for pleasure. And this is correctly conveyed by Bernstadt throughout the painting. Thank you.